Real talk. We off sports. We get ready to get into some some conversations Rick Ross had about beef because he was asked about who won the beef between Nas and Jay-Z, and he had an interesting commentary to it. And all my hip-hop purists, all my hip-hop heads, I want to know what y'all thoughts is about this because a lot of people always use numbers, finances, statistics, awards as I won. The one, the one beef related question I have is is on Jay and Nas because this is. I just want to ask you this: who, who won that beef? Like lyrically, obviously we know who won it from a business standpoint, and that's not to knock Nas because he's done very well for himself as well. Who won it from a business standpoint? I would assume Jay. Why is not? I mean, Nas has made some incredible investments, some incredible investments. Actually, it's a good. That's a really good See, fucking and, question. And, and to me, hip hop. That's what I do love about hip hop because it always go back to how much money. It yeah. Isn't that crazy? I love that. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you a great example. <laughs> no, you a great example. You see that? And I'm glad I'm the nigga that was sitting here. Everybody that's clap up. Clap up. Y'all nah, clap hell, up. Nah. Because nah. that's what it come back to. How much money a nigga got. If you did all that rapping and all that capping, nigga, and they ain't got nothing to show for it, they don't fuck with you. <laughs> The Traylon Jackson Podcast. If you did all that rapping and all that capping, you ain't got no money, they don't mess with you. You know, everybody has money or has access to money. To me, money doesn't necessarily win a war. Now, Nas is worth $200 million. Hove is worth $2 billion. Now, when you take the business acumen, you take the financial part out of hip hop. Nas won the beef. He won the beef with rapping. Rapping wise, Nas put Jay Z in a casket with Ether. Ether is a top three diss song. I was going to wait to another show and give y'all my top three diss songs of all times, but I'm going to do it now. <clears throat> Number three, Ether. Number two, No Vaseline by Ice Cube. Number one, Play With Your B, Young Dolph. Young Dolph was the truth, man. <laughs> that diss song was might have been the most disrespectful diss song of all time. But let's get back to the conversation because I'm going somewhere with this. Uh... Finances ain't everything, man. Everybody want to, like, um, use accolades and achievements. People say that Drake is the best rapper of all time. It's Cap. Because of what he's achieved. He's the, he, he got as many number ones as Michael Jackson. He's the biggest streaming artist. He, he helps people with features and all this. He's the biggest. That's just numbers, dog. That don't mean you the best. He's not even a top 10 rapper of all time when it comes to rapping, when it comes to hip hop, when it comes to embracing the culture. I understand what Yasin Bey was saying because he doesn't contribute to the culture. He just milks it and for his personal gain. It's his personal gain. It's not contributing to hip hop in totality. What has Drake brought to hip hop that has stood the test of time? Like, you got to think about it. It's words and stuff. It's sayings. It's uh, it's uh, just things that brought you brought to the culture that'll never leave. You know, I remember Jay Z had people wearing button ups, fashion, this and that. It's, it's certain things that rap patterns and he well, Drake did bring singing to the culture, even though that's not an element of hip hop. It's just certain things that you bring to the culture that never leaves. Rick Ross is more hip hop than uh, Drake. But when I thought about that thing, I seen that on Culture Millennials. Culture Millennials Instagram page. I, I ripped that off of their page, that uh, conversation I got about Jay Z and Nas beef from Rick Ross. So I left a comment. 
And the comment I left was, so 50 Cent must have won the beef between you and you and 50 Cent. The comment got a lot of traction. It got like uh, 800 comments, people going in on me, and like a 1,000 hearts or whatever. And uh, people was going in on me because I feel like if it's financial, if it's accolades, 50 Cent is, is bigger than you then, Ross. It's just my opinion. He got the TV deals. He got this. He got that going on. He still has put people in position. Still signing artists. Coming up off of a, a whole year tour that sold out every location he went to. Ross can't do that. He has better music to me, but he doesn't have the hits. He's not celebrated as much. And, uh. When I think about that, I think financially 50 Cent is in a better position than Rick Ross. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. Now, the people went in on me in that comment section. I only got two of them, and I'm supposed to have five of them on my screen. But I only got two of them. I'm going to show you all the statements that they said, and I'm going to read them to you. Trevor Jackson Podcast. Bro, 50 has has not one mansion in his name, had to pay a $25 million lawsuit from Sleek Audio, and had to sell his $25 million mansion to a senior citizen company for $7 million. Rick Ross has five mansions and a plane worth up to $200 million. 50 lives in an apartment in New Jersey. Debate done. So I looked at home.